Okay, so the next thing we want to talk about with Morocco is that it has a special new feature, the single shot mode, which is very user friendly, but there's still some things that we want to avoid. For one, keep your distance correct, just like anything. Try to keep it between excellent and good, but it's not too sensitive. It's not the over the end of the world if you do too near or too far. Also, you can use far or near mode, just like in previous ones. It just depends what you're scanning. It's up to you. I have it on far mode right now. One of the most important things you need to keep in mind is when scanning your object, because it only goes by one frame at a time, you need to catch at least 35% of the previous, previous frames point clouds. So for example, let's try this out. Just took the first shot. For example, if I turn it a full quarter turn, obviously I'm not catching 35% of the previous point clouds. Notice what happens. Alignment error, so no good. But if you simply try again, captures the front of the line, just turn it a little bit. Very good. So I'm catching at least 35% of the previous point clouds and no problem at all. And a nice thing too though that I want to mention is below lower left next to the auto exposure camera it has this little loopy arrow. You can actually go back if you mess up at all, click that and it'll go back to the previous frame. So that's a nice uh, feature in this that also has with continuous shot, but it's really easy with single shot mode because you literally can know for sure what frame it is. Just go back to the previous one. Another thing I want to share with you guys is when taking your shot and you're using auto exposure, make sure that you give it a moment because sometimes if you're too quick and you take it, it actually did capture it that time. So the software is improving, but it's just still give that auto exposure a moment to adjust. You take the shot, let it capture what it needs to before you turn it to the next one. Also, it's not the end of the world. Like right here, I capture this. I'm at excellent. And the next one I turn a little bit and maybe I'm too close it's still going to be okay. Or maybe too far, I take the next one. That'll still do all right in capturing it. Like just right there. I went from excellent in one frame and a little bit good to far with distance on the next one. Something else that's very important to keep in mind when using the single shot mode is the scanning distance bar. As I open that up, for example, if there's an object behind you. So here we have a very nice open area. So that's another thing to keep in mind as well. Just make sure you're scanning to clear out things. But if for some reason you are scanning in a more confined area where there are things in the background, the scanning distance bar is an excellent feature that has on both continuous and single shot mode. So here, right now it's at a thousand. When I take the shot of the lion, it's also capturing the sculpture behind. But if for whatever reason, I cannot move that. Notice what you can do with the scanning distance bar. I can adjust it enough so that he is not in the frame. Perfect, really cool feature that can be used for both single shot and continuous shot mode. So now that we've gone over those do's and don'ts when using single shot mode, let's actually scan the lion and check out the results. All right, we made it all the way back around and even through that whole process, did not have to do use the undo bar whatsoever. And checking out the point clouds, all looks very nice and clear. And something that I didn't mention earlier too, I could have also deleted, because right here it's picking up a little bit of the table. I could have cleared out my surface. I didn't push that earlier, that's this feature 
right there. Base, remove, on. I didn't remove that earlier. Another thing that's an advantage of the single shot mode that I wanna to mention too, this was only 17 frames. So you can imagine if it was continuous shot and we were going around the line, you know, it'd be probably close to at least 100. So the fact that it's 17 frames and processing it, it's gonna take a lot less time.